So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin. So that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Hardin as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Hell, he killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. I dodged death many a time, and that night in Abilene was no different. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob, and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. Texas Rangers got heart. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they want you to believe. <clears throat> it was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. To the very same saloon we're sitting in today. Look around and imagine this place painted in blood. Harden was waiting for me. <laughs> Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Fathers and husbands, brothers and sons, men with families who cared about them. He was a bona fide folk hero by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. Shit, it's cold out here. Freezing my giblets off. Ain't right, we gotta stay out here keeping watch like this. Ain't nobody stupid enough to go after hard. God damn it! Shoot that son of a bitch! They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. As most of them were wanted as well. I figured Harden was here somewhere, but to get to him, I'd have to get past his gun. That was easier said than done, as most of them were as foolish and full of bravado as I was. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Hardin wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Hardin's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcomed presence. Tell Hardin someone's coming for him! I wondered if Bob was a man. Stop that so bitch! Boys know we got a low dog. Better hide! 
And I steeled myself for the fight ahead, for as good as I was. Deep down, I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. Before I could test my mettle against Harden, however, I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. Most of these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. I didn't learn until later that that night was in fact his birthday celebration. I think I already mentioned that I found Hardin in this very saloon. Suffice it to say, nobody there was happy to see me. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. I felt a bolt of adrenaline, or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his tricks, and I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. That man was faster than Grease Lightning, but being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon, just like this one. Anybody up for another beer? Ben?